Hi, this is Diane Cossie again, creative off-road MLM, and I'm just going to show you how anyone can create um, something at a nothing with with a very very simple um, uh, image overlay program. Whether you're using a, um, I'm using Microsoft Publisher myself, and I just start if I'm doing a blog header, I just start with a rectangle, and then I usually colour it in. Um, I have a bit of a theme going on with black so I'm just going to put that as a black background so we've got a black background then I'm just going to pick um, a couple of random pictures from the file just to show you the process um, of what it is that I'm doing and I'm actually going to go with this file here so I can find them again and if I just select a, maybe a profile picture, put that one in there, and then just add it to this so that it's overlaid, you'll begin to see how easy this is. And then I'm just going to put a small border around that so that it blends in. And then I'm just going to put something fairly random from the other side. Uh, on the other side and uh, just so that it kind of well, I'll just use my little Jeep um, I offer it M&M little Jeep and once again I'm just going to make that a little bit seamless and then you take some time uh, preparing those pictures a little bit better so that they're good and crisp and clear and then all you have to do is group them so you click and then press control, click for the background, click for the third one and then you literally group them so that they all become one save as a picture so we're going to have that actually is going to go into uh, this file here and then I'm going to call it blog header video test and you can see it's saving it as a image and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Snagit um, editor feature which is a product that you can buy from uh, the, the makers of Camtasia which are TechSmith and I'm just going to go and retrieve my newly uh, saved image blog header video test and I'm just going to open this up and then what's going to do <coughs> it's going to allow me this is a fantastic little thing first of all I'm going to resize this image and I know the actual size of my blog header is somewhere in the region of 960 pixels across so all I have to do is scale to a specific size and at the moment I'm so sorry 900 <laughs> 962 and now you will see that that is actually resized to the workable area and then this you can add in a beveled edge with this super duper thing so let's give it a little bit of highlight at the top and then the all important thing is really you, you would recognize if you do this just as you would on anything else you can see that you can just literally using this program type go big or go home team blog and you can play with the font sizes just as you would on anything else so you would right click and maybe we can just fold that up um, and make it a bit bigger and it's literally playing just as you would with anything else um, I don't think I've highlighted that properly oh there we go it's gone bold and then what you should do is actually add in underneath so draw another text box and you can change the font the font sizes the font color you can put a shadow in the background you can highlight you can put arrows you can erase you can color the canvas I mean this thing's um, I think it's the best thing I bought for 40 quid 40 pounds um, or less something like that and then it would be you know success 
with uh, carbon copy pro team um, access membership or team members team membership blog something like that so somebody coming along and then all you've got to do is save it you don't have to save it and rename it because that file that was once just two pictures and a black background now is two pictures a black background and it will have this writing on which you can adjust and make as pretty as you want okay that really is how easy it is and we're going to go to installing it and that's a bit more tricky uh, using HTML but it's the same process for banners so that's going to be the third and final video of this trilogy of a series take care Diane signing out